So I'm going to throw out another um, series of licks. This time I've called them the laid back licks. This is a series of licks in um, uh, the key of A, specifically A mixolydian. Uh, a mixolydian is actually in the key of D major. It's the fifth mode of D. Um, all you need to do is is think um, A major with a with a, a flattened uh, seventh. So we actually start on the A as opposed to starting on the on the D. So if we take it up to the um, the A note, we'll use that A note on the fifth of the E. Alphabetically, really easy: A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. So it's five seven on the E. Four five seven on the A, four five seven on the D. One of the things about this is the um, everybody knows this um, pentatonic shape. Box one pentatonic A C D E G A C D E G A. So I'll just run through it: five eight five seven five seven five seven five eight five. So all you need to do to make that mixolydian really is use the um, the hammer on from C to C sharp. And then you can throw in that B note and with a nice little bend on there. See we've got that F sharp as well. So there's there's the box one. Pentatonic. I'll just start from the uh, the seventh fret of the D string, and I'll throw in the extra notes. You'll see this this uh, little shape quite a lot. Five seven on the B, five seven on the E. E F sharp A B and you get a tweak on the on the seventh. Makes things sound a lot more musical. And as as opposed to just say here's a twelve bar blues chord progression in, in A. I'm gonna play the A A minor pentatonic over there. So I'm gonna show us this the series of licks. Um Obviously, one one lick at a time. Each each video shows a new lick, and I'm going to leave a video up with just the um, the twelve bar blues chord progression playing, so you can practice it yourself. And I'll probably put that video up um, as like the second in the series. So once you've got your first lick down, you can start practicing it with the uh, with the chord progression. <laughs> Mixolydian A B C sharp D E F sharp G A. There's no C. So the first thing that's going to happen is this kind of hybrid. See that? So I've not played the B on the second. I've gone to the C on the third of the A string, and I've hammered onto that C sharp. So I'll do that again. Open A. And I've hammered on three to four C to C sharp, and then I've played that A chord with those C sharp A E second B second G second D, and I've got. 
got this lovely little figure where um, we slide up. We've got B and G on the third of the E and the fourth of the G. And we slide up to A and C sharp. Fifth of the E, sixth of the G, and back again. So this is the lick in its entirety. So this little bit at the fifth fret. So what happens is I'll block that G that G string just by resting my first finger on it. So you get this percussive. And then I'm playing the A on the fifth fret of the E string. And then I'll play the fifth fret on the on the G. But I bend up from the C to the C sharp. And then I'll finish on that A note on the seventh of the D string. finish that all that off with this little figure so that's E F sharp G seventh on the A fourth on the D fifth on the on the on the D that's gonna fit lovely over an A7 chord Okay, folks, so that's our first laid-back leg. See you next time. <laughs>